Help is at the state capitol where health insurers were on the hot seat today. Carriers are asking to raise rates by 20% on average next year. News 12 Connecticut's John Craven says today's hearing got heated. As inflation hits historic highs, health insurers want double digit rate hikes. At a testy hearing today, customers said carriers don't need the money. $137 million in just salaries of the CEOs? Come on, seriously? For individual coverage, Connecticut wants an average 25% increase. For small business plans, Cigna is asking for 20% more. United Healthcare, 14%. Even Governor Lamont was stunned. It was certainly a lot more than anybody had anticipated. Certainly much more than they've asked for over the last few years as well. Connecticut says it lost $65 million last year because premiums just aren't keeping up with demand. We have not requested any more than we absolutely need in order to remain part of the exchange. Two years after COVID started, insurers say more people are going to the doctor, including mental health treatment. Also driving up cost, hospitals and drug makers keep raising prices, plus state mandates for screenings and insulin costs. While we may have among the higher proposed increases, we continue to have among the lowest actual out-of-pocket premium cost when all is said and done. But critics say insurers are inflating their cost projections. Outside of this room is real life. And in real life, Connecticut families are suffering. The state attorney general asked both insurers if they look at whether their customers can afford rate hikes. Both said no. In the newsroom, John Craven, News 12, Connecticut. John, thank you. Next month, the state insurance department will decide what, if any, increase carriers will get.